Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Drury with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about TMJ pain, TMJ temporomandibular joint, which is the jaw joint where the mandible connects into the skull. And uh, typical medical treatment for TMJ pain is, uh, well, medications, right, to kind of cover it up, mask the problem that don't do anything to actually fix anything. Um, Physical therapy, where they kind of have you, they rub the joints and they have you kind of do certain exercises, which uh, might make it feel better again, uh, but it doesn't address the source. It's just kind of a, a, a putting a Band-Aid on it. And then I've seen some actually even uh, as extreme as surgery where they've replaced the joints. They put new little disc pads in there. All of these things are basically uh, temporary uh, they're not addressing the actual cause. Now, what we have found in my 26 years of uh, working with people with TMJ pain is m almost all the time, uh, what's happened is, is the joint actually has gotten out of balance. Now, how does it happen? Well, the ligaments that hold the joint up into the little socket there, so it's almost like a ball and socket joint on both sides that go up into the socket. And as long as the ligaments that hold the joint in place are nice and healthy, then the ball, the ball sits inside and it just rocks inside that joint just like that. But what we have found is the ligaments can actually become unhealthy. And then when that happens, the ball actually slides out or slides forward or moves out of the joint to a degree that now it doesn't work the way it's intended to, which happens when that happens, it can cause severe pain. If you have TMJ, you know what I'm talking about. And it can even cause it to lock up either on the opening or the closing side so that it gets kind of stuck. Now, the good way to check for this is to look, to go in front of a mirror and look at the mirror and slowly, as you open your mouth, slowly see how the jaw, the jaw should be symmetrical all the way through the opening and closing part. If you start opening and it shifts over to one side, comes back another way, some, a lot of times what will happen is it'll, it'll go one side, then back the other side, and you'll see it doesn't open smoothly. It should open up and down very smooth. If it doesn't, then it starts to kind of wean towards one side or the other, or sometimes, a lot of times, it'll go back and forth, then there's some joint dysfunction in there. Most of the time, what we've found is that's because the nerve flow to that part of the body has become interfered with or uh, hampered to, to a degree that the ligaments have gotten unhealthy. And the nerves that come out of the very top of the neck are the nerves, obviously, they're right there behind it that control the temporomandibular joint. So what we do as upper cervical chiropractors is we find if there is a joint insufficiency in there, if there's a joint problem at the TMJ, and instead of actually manipulating the joint, what we do is we go in and find the source, the cause, what's caused that joint to become out of sync. And it's usually from the upper part of the neck where the nerves come out that go to the joint. That if one of these bones in the neck is out of the line, it can actually interfere with the messages to the joint, allowing it to become less than healthy and start to dysfunction. So we find that we can open it up. Now the healthy nerve flow gets back to the joint. The joint, the ligaments actually draw back up so that that ball on both sides fits into the joint as it's designed. Now you get a smooth transition as your jaw opens and closes. Then the health, the joint can actually heal and work as intended, quits locking up. Believe me, I know I had a TMJ problem all through high school, through college. Finally, started going to an upper cervical chiropractor when he started adjusting my neck. My jaw problem all of a sudden just disappeared. It used to click and pop, and sometimes it'd get hung, or I could only open it so far, it used to drive me crazy. But there was always some degree of discomfort, sometimes severe discomfort, even sharp stabbing pain. So if you have TMJ problems, do yourself a favor. Find an upper cervical doctor near you. If you live in the Charlotte area, that's Pineville, Mint Hill, uh, Ballantyne, uh, Gastonia, Belmont, Mount Holly, Mountain Island, Lake Norman, Lake Wiley, Fort Mill, Rock Hill, anywhere in the whole Charlotte area, we're the upper cervical doctor for you. Uh, just give our office a call, 704-588-5560. We never charge for the initial consultation to see what your needs are. If we find that you have a misalignment in the top of the neck that's causing your TMJ, 
we'll tell you. We'll explain to you what we need to do to try to correct it. If you do not, then we'll try to find another specialist, someone that we believe that can help. So you really have nothing to lose. So give our office a call today. Let's go ahead and let's get you in. Let's get to the bottom of this TMJ problem and see what we can do to correct it. Our phone number is 704-588-5560. Look forward to meeting you. Have a great afternoon. And if this video makes sense to you, please share it. Thank you.